Hello, fellow global citizens. I am Her Royal Highness, Princess Murad Deung Adidu Shalom. A lot of people that know me know me as Princess of Arise. Hello, fellow global citizens. I am Her Royal Highness, Princess Murad Deung Adedui Sholari. I am princess by title and by birth, so it's not a nickname or a pet name. I am the direct granddaughter of His Royal Majesty, Oba William Christopher Adedui Anoko II, the Akaribu of Remo Kingdom, which is my home base, in southwestern part of Nigeria. Remo Kingdom has over 33 towns under it. I'm also a broadcast journalist of many, many years. I started broadcasting at the tender age of 17 at the then Nigerian television that was Channel 10 in Victoria Island, Lagos, Nigeria. Of course, Nigerian television then at Festac 77, some of you might know Festac, that was a festival of arts and culture that Nigeria hosted in the year 1977 for a whole month. I happened to be the youngest television presenter at the time, and it had then metamorphosed into what we now know as Nigerian Television Authority, NTA. I've dabbled into other things, you know, I've gone to politics, I had a restaurant in South London, I also do artist management, which I still do to date events management and coordination. I organize traditional marriages, um, those that want to have a royal touch to their traditional marriages. But my heartbeat has always been the media, broadcasting, television, people. I am a people's person, so I love to engage with people, with human beings, you know? And I love to see how they tick, know what makes them happy, I want to be able to reach out to lift people up, young and old, particularly in my work with women and children. I've been chair of a charity that looks after young girls worldwide. I also sit on the board of various other organizations that look after women, their welfare, their work, um, particularly comes to mind a, an organization that I've been with for nearly 20 years, that's Global Win, that's Global Women Inventors and Innovators Network. And I've been working alongside um, the CEO, Dr. Bolo Labisi, for many years, as we help women to enhance their gifts in, as investors, inventors and innovators, uh, exceptional creative designers, uh, you know, technical people, artistic people, you name it, just to enable them to take their products and their services to the next level, which I really enjoy. Also, the work I've done with um, young girls and continue to do, I have been the chair and spokesperson of Girl Child Network Worldwide. I've also been on the board of Girls Empowerment Initiative, which was um, started by another friend of mine, Mujari Beta Makoni. And um, a lot of work has been done and continues to be done. I am the creator of my Arise brand. A lot of people that know me know me as Princess of Arise. Arise is spelled A-R-I-Z-E with an exclamation mark for a reason, for emphasis, for people to stop and think and listen and ponder. Because we all need to arise as agents of positive change. We need to arise to better our world. We need to arise to unlearn some things and relearn some new things. We need to arise to make this world a better place for us, particularly for the younger generation that are coming up. I always say, lest we forget, lest our children never know. Now with the Arise platform, I've done so many things from events management, to my talk shows, um, to trainings, mentoring, 
to my travels that I go around the world to particularly speak when it comes to Pan-Africanism. That's another thing that is my heartbeat. I love my Africanness, from the color of my skin, to the texture of my hair, to my eyes, my smile, to the way I walk, the way I talk, my mother tongue, my native language. Everything about Africa is so important to me, to the motherland, to the shrubbery, the greenery, the beautiful rivers and oceans that we see in Africa, the amazing people, I call them human persons, that are untainted, they're original, very close to nature, fully understanding of what the universe is about. And therefore, with the Arise brand, I try my own little bit from my own little corner to contribute my own quota to making this world a better place for us and bringing about a better quality of life. I always say nobody can tell the story of a people or a place but the main actors. We must know how they feel. We must have sat where they sat. We must understand their challenges. We must be able to see where they're coming from. Be that person that can touch the pulse and know how they think, how they reason, how they face the challenges that they encounter because there are bridges to be built. And without knowing all these things, who are we to say that we're an expert on what concerns them as a people? You must have been there with them. You must understand their history. You must be able to celebrate their achievements and their joys. Share in when there are things that have been adversely done to them or that have affected them adversely. Then and only then can we each arise and do that which is right in the sight of the creator and also in the sight of each and every one of us. So I always say, arise, ladies and gentlemen, as agents of positive change. Hello, fellow global citizens. I am Her Royal Highness, Princess Murad Diongo. So the Arise brand, uh, the Arise platform has been around for many years now, um, doing a variety of things um, on television and even live on stage uh, in the UK, in Africa, across the world. But um, now we are in post-pandemic, post-COVID. We all know that COVID was a time of reflection for all of us, a time for us to stop, pause, reflect, ponder, and think. What is the way forward? For some of us, we're not even aware that COVID came with a message. Some of us heard, but we didn't listen. Quite a number of us heard and listened and are still listening. So in our listening, what have we been able to understand? What have we been able to see? And what are we going to do about moving forward? I believe that media, social media as we know it, and media, traditional media, and just generally linking with each other, speaking, talking, having conversations about a variety of issues that affect us as a people, that affect our world, that affect us as human beings. This is a time for us to start talking about them, bring them into the open, bringing on thought leaders from across the world in various disciplines, because we know there's a huge number of disciplines around from an uh, an array of people who are very well qualified to talk about these. And these are the kind of um, issues that I will be treating on the new Arise season that's coming. And this time around, we're talking about Arise as a talk show, but not just a talk show, Arise as a platform that will be the trigger to change people's mindset, you know, the trigger to encourage people, the trigger, if I may say, to kick people in the backside and say, you know, get up and do something. Let's do something to change the narrative. Let's do something to correct the erroneous stories that have been peddled about us as a people. 
how are we going to make Africa great again? Because Africa was very great. That's why we know about all the great things that our ancestors did. So in my role, not only as a broadcaster or media person, not only as a mouthpiece, not only as a conversationalist, not, not only as a social commentator, but also as a child of Africa, um, as a very proud African, as someone who loves Pan-Africa and who wants to see us progress and go in leaps and bounds. I will be challenging myself and you. I will be inviting an amazing group of people, individuals, organizations that would come and share their own views, their experiences on how we can make things better, whether it's to do with education, whether it's to do with technology, the arts, the sciences, whether it's to do with medical science, whether it's to do with designs, fashion, the list goes on. All I'm very interested in is to making life better for us. A lot of us have gone through enough pain, enough challenges. We lost loved ones during this pandemic. Some of us caught it. Some people had this um, coronavirus and they were able to overcome it, but they would never forget the experience. So it's been an experience for each and every one. If it hadn't happened to you, it had happened to somebody that is close to you or somebody that knows somebody that you know. And therefore, the word pandemic is very, very vital here. Pandemic means pan across the entire world. And we always forget one thing, that this world is not about us. And I think that's where we get it wrong as um, human beings. We forget that the earth is just a tiny bit of the entire universe. And therefore, we'll be teaching ourselves and learning how to respect nature, how to appreciate what the universe has put in store for us. Most importantly, how to care for and love each other. As I once again say, let's all arise as agents of positive change.